Hey guys, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on adjective and preposition combinations. Okay, so first of all, we have to understand what an adjective is. As a reminder, an adjective is a word that describes something, that can describe a noun. So when you look at these adjectives or these sentences, uh, I want you to tell me if you can identify the adjectives. What are the adjectives in these sentences? So, he's not interested in hmm, writing. Okay, the adjective is interested. Okay, so interested describes this person's state. He is not interested something writing. Okay, the other one, I am excited hmm, your birthday. Excited, right? Okay, you're, I think you're starting to see the pattern, right? So Joanna is afraid. I think she's tired. He is worried. Mark is good. Okay, so these are all adjectives, 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 and more adjectives. Uh, now, in English, we often have adjectives combined with prepositions. Um, to create an expression or a small phrase. And we can follow these prepositions with either a gerund, which is an ing uh, noun, well, verb acting like a noun, um, or just a noun in general. So you noticed writing, your birthday, failing, trying, his test, cooking. Okay, so we have some gerunds and we have some nouns. Now, before this, we have to understand which prepositions are commonly put with these adjectives. So, in the first sentence, he's not interested in writing. So, think of as many prepositions as you can. You have at, on, in, you have about, around, by, with, tons and tons and tons of possibilities. So, what you have to know is, okay, which preposition always goes with this adjective? So the first one, maybe you know this, he's not interested in writing. Okay, I'm not interested in doing something. Okay, second one, I am excited your birthday. Okay, you are excited about something usually. I am excited about your birthday. You can also say I am excited for your birthday, uh, but the most common preposition here after excited is you are usually excited about something. So you can be excited about a person's birthday. You can be excited about your vacation. You can be excited about doing something this weekend with your friends. Okay, next one. Joanna is afraid, hmm, failing. Okay, afraid is commonly followed by of. Okay, she is afraid of failing. She does not want to fail. It's similar to saying scared of. Okay, so Joanna is scared of failing, afraid of failing. She does not want to fail. The next one, I think she's tired, hmm, trying. So she has been trying and trying and trying again and again, and now she has grown tired of it. So, so far we have in, about, of, of. Uh, let's do another one. He's worried, hmm, his test. Now, if I said he's worried for his test, what do you think the meaning of that is? It's possible to say he's worried for, but in this situation, if you said he's worried for his test, it means that you know his, his test is like a person, kind of, and his test has feelings, and maybe his test is depressed. So he's worried for his test that his test is gonna cry or something. So here, he's worried about, all right. He's worried about his test, about his score. And the last one, Mark is good hmm, cooking. Mark is good at. Okay, this is a really, really common expression. It means you have ability in something. Okay? So if you have good ability, you are good at something. So Mark is good at cooking. Mark is great at cooking, excellent at cooking. Um, if you want to do the opposite, you can say a person is bad at something, or terrible at something, awful at something, horrible at something, okay? 
So guys, these expressions are really, really important, and the prepositions, please, 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 please remember the correct prepositions that you have to use after these adjectives, because if you use a different preposition, it will not make sense, okay? So if you want to test your understanding of these expressions, of these adjective preposition combinations, just check out the quiz on angvid.com. Good luck, guys. Take care.